that. Welcome to the Field of Streams, where I, your host, Janine McRae, that's me, bring you the tiny thoughts that stream from my brain and present them to you as though they're a single slice cake dispenser that replaces the glove compartment in your car and dispenses cake to the tune of the Eurythmics Sweet Dreams. Anytime you're stuck in traffic and things are getting heated. Mmm, decadence. Now, I can't promise you much with these calorific comforts, but I can promise you this. I won't keep you long. Believe it, I speak the truth, except when I don't. But in this case, there's no word of a lie in what I have just said. Why are you whispering? I don't know. Let's get on with it. Okay, so like many people during the pandemic lockdown, remember that? Ugh. I bought a guitar. That, uh, that, it's the musical equivalent of sourdough bread making for me, I guess, because I couldn't find any yeast and that shit. But a guitar, I'd always wanted a guitar. And I say this with the same dreamy look on my face as I had a few years earlier when I decided I really wanted a mandolin. Good news, everybody. I now have both and can't play either. I mean, I can dibbly dabbly, but it's frustrating. I have a dream. I want to write a song. That was on my list in the melanoma post. I must really want to write a song. But I have no idea where to start or even how to start. I have learned five chords, which is apparently all you need. But how? Where do I go from here? Inquiring minds, or one mind in particular, mine, want to know. And that's what this episode's about. Asking the question trying to get the answer to how to write a song. As a bonus to this episode, a songwriter, musician and instrumentalist that I follow called Fog Chaser, after reading this post, actually answered me in my comments. And I'll share what he said at the end of this post, which is literally called, as I have alluded to, How do you write a song? This will work. I know it will. I hammer the stake into the ground at the edge of the dirt path. It is pretty here, a shaded pathway with fragrant wildflowers and pleasantly dreamy trees, and I'm guessing songs like to live in pretty places. There should be plenty of unsuspecting ditties here. From my pocket, I extract a thin wire, looping it into a noose, to match my crude reference diagram before attaching one end to the stake and propping the noose open on a separate stick. With sweat concentrating on my brow, I take a gentle step back to admire my work and wonder, is that enough to catch a tune? A noise behind me. I do not turn around, for I know it's just rational me sneaking up upon myself to tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong. Creep, creep. The presence is at my back now, too close and in my space. I can feel the heat radiating from myself and my own hot, thick breath on my neck as rational Janine leans in to whisper, Songs cannot be trapped, dummy. I kick the whole thing over in a huff and stomp back on the path. (sighs) What do songs like to eat, I wonder? I open a cupboard door in my kitchen and eye the assorted cans, packets of food and random bottles of flavourful liquids. I'm torn between something sweet, for I would like a sweet song to come to me, and something of a gut punch, you know, spicy meaning with the burn of action. My hand reaches toward the jar of chilli crunch before swerving last second to the honey. Sweet, sweet honey. If I dribble this honey to create a glistening and sticky pool with its faint scent filling the air, it will perhaps attract a sweet melody like an ant or a bear or an ant-bear hybrid. The moment it appears, I shall swing my net in a wide and loving arc that will gently entangle the creature and bring it into my world. Yes, that's how I will trick the song into existence. I begin to pour. A noise behind me. I do not turn around, for I know it's just rational me, sneaking up upon myself to tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong. Creep, creep. The presence is at my back now, too close and in my space. I can feel the heat radiating from myself and my own hot, 
thick breath on my neck as rational Janine leans in to whisper, Songs are not ants, dimwit. I stick my finger in the honey, draw an angry face, suck away the evidence. Like twigs of angry origin, my fingers snap and crackle their protest. They are old and annoyed and don't bend the way they need to for this assignment. The shapes are awkward and not for the first time I think, you really should have started learning this when you were younger instead of that useless clarinet. I know five chords, which is two chords too many. From what I understand, you only need three chords and the truth, or is that just for country songs? If my fingers are protesting, does that mean I'll only write protest songs? Are they called frets because that's all you do when you're trying to write a song? What comes first, words or melody? So many questions, so little patience. With the guitar to one side, I look down at the board before me and put my fingers on the planchette. Oh, great Ouija board, where is my song? Will my song come to me in a dream? Will my song come to me through a crack under the door? Will it come to me when I call? Will it come to me at all? My fingers hurt, but do they need to bleed? Is it breath work? Is it homework? Is it footwork? Is it God's work? A noise behind me. I do not turn around, for I know it's just rational me sneaking up upon myself to tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong. Creep, creep. The presence is at my back now, too close and in my space. I can feel the heat radiating from myself and my own hot, thick breath on my neck as rational Janine leans in to whisper, You're overthinking this, bird brain. I turn and look myself in my stupid face as it blinks back at me. No, I say, I'm overthinking about this. Numbskull, ninny, dick. Spirits scatter as I rise and stomp off to make a comfort sandwich. The guitar says nothing. I listen to some episodes of Song Exploder to try unravel the mystery. I watch videos of musicians talking about songwriting. Keep the music simple if the lyrics are complicated, says Buffy St. Marie. Simple. I can do simple. I fall down a rabbit hole of protest and social commentary songs. Do you have to be angry to write a song? Naive? Hopeful? You obviously have to be sincere to straddle the line between potential corny and conviction. You have to believe it. Can I be sincere? I pick up and read a few more chapters from the book Songwriters on Songwriting. I put it back down after rereading the Paul Simon interview. My sigh is deeper than the Mariana Trench. My yearning is extremely vocal and amplified. Paul McCartney seemed to pluck get back from out of the air, like the literal air. I have access to air. Does it need to be thin air? Is that where songs live? Is it okay if the air is a little briny? I'm quite close to the beach. Will the marine layer eat the paint off songs? What will my song look like when it is born? What will it be? Serious? Anthemic? Silly? Quote, and I hope that you die and your death will come soon. I will follow your casket in the pale afternoon and I'll watch while you're lowered down to your deathbed and I'll stand over your grave till I'm sure that you're dead. End quote. Looking at Dylan lyrics is not helpful. A noise behind me. I do not turn around, for I know it's just rational me sneaking up upon myself to tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong. <sighs> creep, creep. The presence is at my back now, too close and in my space. I can feel the heat radiating from myself and my own hot, thick breath on my neck as rational Janine leans in to whisper, There is a list of things I know, and a list of things I don't know, and the list of things I don't know is long. I wait for more, but nothing more comes from the hot and dank breath at my ear. I wait a little longer. Was that the first line of a song? Are you telling me that I should stop being so precious about it? 
to stop thinking it's some kind of dark art. Witchcraft, sorcery, black magic is the message that songs can't be willed into existence and that I should approach the process of making one like I approach everything else, blindly but with persistence. Should I slough at the skin of try until the flesh of do is exposed? What if all I get is doo-doo? Or are you telling me that you have no idea, just like the rest of us, you planet-sized mouth breather? There is a list of things I know and a list of things I don't know, and the list of things I don't know is long. I pick up the guitar, I punch myself in the face, I work on the list. And there you have it, today's episode. Now, I mentioned a songwriter, Fog Chaser. You can follow him on Spotify and on Substack to sample his music. There's links in the description. Uh, He kindly wrote a response to my post on how to write a song. I shall now read his response on his approach and what works for him. Quote, For me, parameters and limitations are really important. So structure, picking one and sticking to it, whether it's a basic ABAB arrangement or something with more parts, and a topic or title or feeling, or for my instrumental work, a key. So that's one thing. That's me talking there. He continues. Lyrics can feel like an absolute mystery. And I think that part of the process is different for everyone. For me, it's important not to be too precious about it, nor compare myself to others, especially not my idols, and to occasionally let a trite to me lyric through and not worry about it too much. This is me again breaking in here to say, Janine, don't read Bob Dylan lyrics. He continues, starting with a title and a mood can be helpful and cracking open the thesaurus and doing some crazy word mapping can generate some fun ideas. But like all writing, the good stuff gets uncovered during the editing process. So just write it out, get it all on paper and try to stick to a structure. From there, you've got clay you can shape. Whether you're trying to tell a story or you're writing something more abstract, it will become clearer the more you work through those awful early stages. And they're awful, I feel you. Ah, thanks, Fog Chaser. And then he wraps it up with, the bottom line, just keep at it. When you get a draft of something, put it down and write the next one. It's funny how, (laughs) just reading through all that, it's very similar to how I approach writing in general. It's not that different except I don't have to try get my fingers to stretch over frets and make a sound that doesn't sound awful. I'm okay with it sounding clumsy, but it literally sounds awful. Anyway, this has gone on long enough. I'd like to thank Fog Chaser for chiming in. I really do appreciate it. I still haven't written a song, but I'll get there. I just need time <laughs> and to actually stick at it. That's, yeah, I've got a lot on my plate. Too much, Janine but I really do want to write a song. Just do it. Anyway, that's the end of today's episode. I hope you'll come back for more. These missives are designed to inspire creative folk to get out there and make something of their own, perhaps a song. If you enjoyed what you heard, follow the podcast so that you never miss one and sign up to read my writing at janemacrae.substack.com. But for now, I'll leave you with this. Love what you love and I'll see you out there making stuff. (laughs) 